<laughs> so <clears throat> I'm reading, I'm over at the Monkey Squad's accounts and I'm looking over and I see how the Church of Satan has, does not have denominations, no denominations. They call it something else. Same fucking thing. What is it? I forget. It's not that important. But I do know, if you read The Secret Life of a Satanist, you'll see Blanche Barton talk about the the pretenders of the throne. I'm a member of one of them. They actually sent me a certificate and a card, membership card, and it's called the Satanic Brotherhood, or was it the Church of the Satanic Brotherhood? And it, it sounds obscure, right? And, uh, Anyway, the funny part is, I found it funny that I was a member because, you know, I, I've not been to so many people. And um, that's why I say I have a pile of this shit. People send me stuff all the time. And um, I find it a bit amusing because, uh, you know, one, I'm out here doing this. But two, you know, my history and, and what I know, and it's not like I'm a fucking guru. It's just, you know, I've been a Satanist and I, and I apply the philosophies and then I... And I read more about other organizations and how they differ. And that's why I promote what I do, right? So with the, the Monkey Squad, and Monkey Squad is the uh, the, the, the suppo supposed Church of Saint members. That small click over in Twitter. And anyway, I go off and uh, they say, well, there's no denominations. Okay, let, let, let's play a game. Now... They Bill M makes a reference to he's a magister and he makes a reference that a denomination is based on faith, it's based on belief. So, if you're a Christian, then you'll believe one way and then you're going to believe another way, and so on and so forth. So, you have the Baptists, the Methodists, the Pentecostals, the you know, the Lutherans, they're all going to have different, you know, dogma, different, different angles to the same faith, same book. What if I told you the um. The Church of Satan, in their scandal back in 1975, which I have a document of, from the Temple of Set, of all the people, right? And that is that when the Church of Satan separated the organizations, they turned around and they, they people left the Church of Satan to do their own thing, such as like the Church of the Satanic Brotherhood and all them. <clears throat> well, they are denominations of the Church of Satan itself. And even though the Church of Satan might deny them, you can't deny history. So, in short, they're fucked. Because, again, you cannot deny it. And if you do, that's fine. But who's gaslighting who? See, that's one thing I like about the Church of Satan so much that they don't realize how much I like them. I like them so much because they can't escape their past. They can't escape their history. Why? Because they don't own the copyright. You go off and you do your historical interviews. You do your... Um, you look at all the you know, old, old Anton LaVey footages, right? And even the Church of Satan violates their own copyright. Because what do they do? They're broadcasting shit that's over you know, from the 60s, 70s, and so forth. But do they own it? Is it a production of theirs? And the answer is going to be no. So for me, I turn around and uh, I, you, all you have to do is pay attention. So when you pay attention to these guys, you know, it's not too hard to pick at them. You know, and I say pick on them, pick at them. Because eventually, you know, my attitude is simply, I, I, I believe in what works for you. So I do what works for me. And in the process... Um, I, you know, I get where I, I go in life, but when I see the people out here who kind of like safeguard or even tried to play gatekeeper, which is an oxymoron because you got people out there saying, you know, Oh, I'm a, I'm a gatekeeper for the church of Satan. And then you have, you know, another church of Satan member saying, well, gatekeeper is a slur. <laughs> get on the same page guys. And, um, and that's the thing. So, yeah, uh, there are denominations of the Church of Satan. The fact is, I got about 150 of them. So check out TOS Temple. Uh, check out all the accounts because in the Beacons or even the Weebly, <clears throat> is the Weebly's the, the uh, website, there's a link and you hit that and boom, you're going to go to uh, insatanservice.org uh, insa 
and there you have um, over, like say, about 100 to 240 organizations, and a lot of them are derived from Church of Satan. So yeah, there is denominations in Satanism, but in particular, there's more of the denominations of the Church of Satan itself. So whether they like to hear it or not, their their opinion don't matter. Why don't it matter? Because they don't speak for the other organizations. They don't speak for me. They don't speak for you. Unless, of course, you're an active member trying to be a gatekeeper for them. You get what I'm saying? In other words, if you want to be un a unconformist, you, you don't need to be a member to anybody. And that's the whole point of it all. Be your own fucking person. And, and that's why I do what I do. I show people how to find the information to free them themselves, even from organized religion.